Welcome to the Popcorn Talk Network. For the online broadcast network that features movie discussion, news, and interviews, press one. Popcorn Talk. We talk movies. From the Popcorn Talk Network, the online broadcast network for movie talk, and the schmoes know, this is Guilty Movie Pleasures. In-depth discussion on movies, no matter how guilty they make you feel. <laughs> All right, Guilty Movie Pleasure fans, we are back here for another just glorious episode. We uh, we drove here. Uh, we were going to take a plane, but uh, we too many snakes on it. Too many motherfucking snakes on that motherfucking plane. I'm Josh McCuga. You guys know me at Josh McCuga on Twitter. Next to me, the star of this month's Hallmark Classic. Yes, this soap. Smells like flowers, but it tastes a lot like love. <laughs> ben Begley. Why would anyone eat the soap? <laughs> it's a Hallmark movie. You never know. I've heard of not dropping the soap, but <laughs> don't eat the soap either. It's bad for you. And hey, a lovely everybody. lady who always smells floral and, and fresh out of the shower, Miss Alicia Malone. Hello. Thanks for coming on the show, Alicia. I believe this is your fourth time. time. Yeah, your fourth appearance on Guilty Movie Pleasure. People think I'm a pretentious wanker because I love classic movies and indie movies, but I have a lot of Guilty Movie Pleasures. Pretentious wanker. (laughs) Pretentious wanker, wanker. Alicia Malone. People think I'm a pretentious wanker just because I am a pretentious (laughs) wanker. And I have no idea what wanker means. Is that... That's like a what, it's like a it's like a, like a douchebag. Yeah, douchebag. Uh, okay. It's a cooler to I wish that America would adopt wanker instead of douchebag. Yeah, douchebag, I like wanker. Whenever you say douchebag, you inevitably sound like one too because you're saying that word. Yeah, but like wanker doesn't sound as cool as Wanker. Yeah, great. Like wanker. Yeah, like and Alicia's yeah, accent. It sounds wanker. amazing. Bloody but wanker. We're like bloody, bloody wanker. wanker. Yeah, it's, it doesn't work <laughs> as well. Nothing sounds as cool. Either. No, definitely not. Motherfucking definitely. wanker. Are we allowed to swear? Yeah, oh yeah, okay. this is going to be the most swearing in the history of guilty movie pleasures. We have so. to top. What was the one that was really bad? Uh, oh, from Dust Till Dawn. Uh, uh, no, no, no. From Dust Till Dawn was real bad. That one, but then the, the Jason Statham one when we said cunt like forty seven hundred yeah. times. From Dust Till Dawn, I think we said the p word like uh, seven hundred yeah, times. Yeah, a lot of, which a lot I don't of times. use that word ever in real yeah, life. Yeah, but the f word and the mf word will be said on this podcast a lot of motherfucking times today. So uh, because we are talking, the, of course, the classic Alicia Malone's favorite movie, mm-hmm. uh, right next to Space Odyssey two thousand one, I believe. <laughs> yeah. Yep, just next 2010, to that. Two thousand ten, the but, year we made contact, <laughs> is clearly the superior film. Some motherfucking snakes on a motherfucking plane uh ben has got his, his previously owned it's i a bought it rental. from a 2020 video back when that used to exist yep and there nice. we go guys this is uh, we were talking before this this movie got started uh that um well you, you i mean you can tell your story of how you first saw it because yeah. it's pretty good i became really obsessed with this movie so it was like what 2000 we point out your shirt to the audience oh yeah yeah, yeah. see it can you see it? It's got snakes a plus snake plane. plus plane equals snakes on a plane. Snakes on a plane. <laughs> yeah, and then it says S O A P, which is what the fans call it. Soap. Yeah, soap. Yep. That's why soap. I was saying about soap at the beginning soap, of the show. Yeah. It's all soap, coming yeah, full circle. Oh, nothing to do with our, our conversation before the podcast. <laughs> nope, not at all. So it was 2006. I was working for a uh, movie network cable channel, and I was producing and editing, and I had to find a lot of news to write about. So I stumbled upon that blog that the screenwriter wrote about. About coming on board this film called Snakes on a Plane yeah. starring Samuel L. Jackson <laughs> and like many people on the internet I just got sucked into how amazing this film sounded yes. firstly it's very literal it was a working <laughs> title but I just loved how it described exactly what was going to happen yeah. and also it combines two things that a lot of people are afraid of flying and things going wrong when they're flying and snakes, motherfucking snakes. <laughs> motherfucking fucking snakes. Motherfucking and it's just snakes. like, how does this happen? So then all the fan artwork started. Because it was yeah. called Snakes on a Blog, right? Yeah, Originally. Snakes on a yeah. Blog. I watched okay. the special features. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Snakes on a Blog. There was a Cobra Starship. The music guys did like a video. Oh, I about can't wait to talk about that song because that song makes no sense. <laughs> Come on, bring it. I love it. It makes so no good. sense. Hey, so Jonathan, good. can you grab that song? We can maybe play it near the end of the show. Yeah. We, could, we could talk about awesome. it. Awesome. And then Thanks, man. there was that fake trailer which had the famous line, enough is enough. I've had it with this motherfucking snakes and the motherfucking plane. And I loved watching all that grow into this internet phenomenon. This right. is before social media uh, really yeah. took off to the level it is now. So it just went viral of its own accord. 
bought this t-shirt bought my friends three t-shirts on my birthday 2006 <laughs> september 4 by the way it's coming up soon September 4, uh, we went and saw that, that means we were supposed to get her a present is what that means oh yeah, yeah that, that was like, a subtle yeah, hint it's in a, it's in a yes. time, by me again i'm the way. gonna get you a snake Thanks. And I'm going to get you a little plane. And we're going <laughs> okay, to strap the snake to the plane. Yep. Table so there was around. no one else in the cinema. It was just me and my three friends. <laughs> what? We all wore our t-shirts. We got gummy snakes. It was so much fun to this it, day. Adorable. One of the best experiences Where did you, where'd you see it, though, that there wasn't anybody in it? It was the... suburban cinema in Sydney. Okay. So, so nobody in Australia gave on. a shit. Because when no. I saw it in theaters, it was packed. That would have been cool. It was a full house. It would have been cool to see it with an American audience, too, because they're so vocal. Yeah. <laughs> Australians just <laughs> like... Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> like last night when I saw the visit and I legit screamed. I was the only person that screamed at one point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, the, and the two people next to me were like, shut up. <laughs> I went and saw, just a quick sidebar, yeah. uh, in the Funhouse Massacre that we did, we all went and saw It Follows oh, uh, when we so were uh, on a day off. And one of the actors in our movie was Australian, Lee Parker. Hilarious yes. guy. Do you know great. Lee Parker? Do you know him? Uh, yeah. He's great. He's hilarious. I know him through friends. Not a okay. fan of going to the movies with him, though. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll, he'll, he'll love this. But we were watching It Follows and every time something scary would happen, he'd be like, he'd go, I know, I know, oh shit, oh shit, oh no, oh, oh fuck no, oh fuck no, oh shit, oh no, oh shit. And we're like, Lee, we're like, Lee, we're like, Lee, we're like, Lee, stop. He's like, what, was I saying something? And, and I'm like, yes, yes. He like didn't even know. He's like, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no. Oh, oh shit. No. Oh fuck, mate. Um, it was so good. That. So My good. accent is terrible. No, no it's no, better it than actually, mine. It's much better than that. yours. Uh, fuck off, good. you wankers. It's a hard uh, accent to do. <laughs> it's very, hard. Bit. very hard. I was telling Alicia so. that I went to see this in theater. In theater. In, 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 in theater. In theater. Uh, went with some buddies. We <laughs> obviously theater. got like super stoned before because I mean, it's I wish snakes I, I wasn't plane. into that. That stuff would have been good. Yeah. yeah, me neither. I should have. Walked in. We were so psyched. And I love Samuel L. Jackson. Like, if I were to meet Samuel L. Jackson, the first thing I would talk to him about is snakes on a plane. Yeah. Like, you know, I mean. See, I'd probably be, I'd say Nick Fury. Would be I, right. well, yeah, I wore adorable. this t shirt underneath another shirt when I did my uh, interview for Avengers. That was the first time I'd interviewed uh, okay. Samuel L. Jackson. I just went. <laughs> and what did he do? He was like, Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, big reveal. Look. He's probably like, hey, I've done, I've done a lot of cooler things yeah. since then. Or he was like, bo boobs. Yeah. Uh, There's no T-shirt. No, uh, t-shirt. Got it. Got oh, it. Got it. Right. <laughs> um, so I went to see it with some buddies. We got really stoned, and I, I mean, we're in the theater, and it is, it was raucous. Oh yeah. Like when he said, finally, when he said enough, enough. Yeah. Like, I mean, it was like the Steelers scored a touchdown. Everybody just erupted like oh, popcorn. Every so dude, good. Yeah. it was so was fun. That's so why when I asked you, because it was just you and your three friends. Yeah. So we were like, yay. We had a blast too. It was, it was similar. It was it was in Akron, Ohio, Montrose, I believe, the yeah, Regal okay. Cinemas there, yeah, okay. and uh, and we all were just going crazy over it. We thought it was ridiculous. Yeah. I, I remember the first kill when the snake bites the woman directly on the nipple. The entire <laughs> audience was like, "This is gonna be awesome!" Yeah, there's yeah. snakes on a boob, snakes on yeah. a dick, snake on a tongue, snake on an eyeball. This yeah. whole this movie, snake on an ass. I love yeah. it, and a lot of that was added in later on because it was gonna the five be a five day PG. reshoot that they did. Yeah, and then they reshot it. To include the famous line and then add in more boobs, more snakes, <laughs> well, more gore. I can't believe Taylor Kitsch is in this movie yeah. as basically a softcore porn actor. Yeah. Uh -huh. He has no... There's a deleted scene, which I didn't even watch because it just seemed boring. <laughs> it was him and slutty girl like talking like... Like you don't want to hear him talk. And I was like, hey, <laughs> get to it. it. <laughs> but it's so funny now how big he is and... Well, this was right at like the, uh, the like middle of, of Friday Night Lights. First season of Friday Night, yeah, Night Lights. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, it's just so funny that I was like, holy shit, is that Taylor Kitsch? He's yeah. on... You know the shitty season of True Detective. Yeah, right now. Yeah. Wow! Yeah. Look how far there's so come. many people. I would much in rather watch sna Snakes on a Plane than the last season of True I Detective. I haven't finished it yet. I yeah, hate yeah. watching it. But uh, let's get into that. But uh, let's. We should do the plot in oh, under. Yes. We got to. Let's do the plot in under three minutes. I think it'll be sure. Who's two, gonna start? Yeah. Two, two. We'll start with Alicia. Alicia's in gonna three, start. Okay. Two. One Malone. The movie opens in Hawaii. Nathan Phillips going on a motorcycle. What dead guy? Mm -hmm. come, or almost dead guy comes from the the whatever the jungle. Bad guys Somewhere, come, yeah. kill him. Nathan Phillips' character sees it, runs away, goes to his apartment, and then uh, the, drink some Red Bull. The guys yeah, show, the guys show up. You know these fucking <laughs> wankers. That no, I'm kidding. These guys show up. These uh, Eddie Kim's dudes. They try and kill him, but Sam Jackson comes out of nowhere because apparently that got the fingerprints off of the Red and then tracked his location, which I had to actually think about how they did that. Yeah. Then they're interrogating him. They're like, we got to get you to L.A. so you can testify against Eddie Kim. And he's they like, get on a plane. Do what you say. Do yeah. what I say if you want to live. Do what yeah. I say. You'll live. You know, something, something, something like basically that. like. Do what I say if you want to live. 
basically a rendition of, ter of Terminator's line, come with me if yeah. you want to live. Yeah. Then they get on, they're like, oh, we're not going to go on this plane, but everybody thinks we're going to get on that plane. They go on this other plane that's filled with people. They kick everybody out of first class and take up the whole section. We reveal that the there's these lines. pheromones being sprayed on the lays so that they'll, Two minutes. Uh, uh, they'll, they'll eject it into the air conditioning and then the snakes mm -hmm. start attacking Makuga. Okay, so uh, yeah, they're, they're in there. Uh, we basically see like a timer after they, they shut a door. The timer finally opens and it's like surrounded by whatever. Those snakes start coming out or whatever. Worst security ever in I mean, Honolulu, it's apparently. awful. Yeah. They, there's nobody really running security. And apparently Eddie Kim knows everybody so he can like run this freaking place yeah. because yeah. Eddie Kim has his hands and everything. He knows snake charmers, he knows ways to yeah. get on airplanes, whatever. He owns everybody. Cops, FBI mm -hmm. agents, whatever. That's the suspension of belief you have to realize. The timer goes off, the snakes go everywhere and apparently these snakes are really attracted to wiring because the first thing they do the is attack wiring chew up and some it, wires. And it fucks with the, the plane, with the mother. <laughs> yeah, that cat Poor gets cat. destroyed. Uh, I'm not a big fan of cats, so we're good. Uh, the snakes start uh, infiltrating the ventilation bed. Uh, Alicia. <laughs> <laughs> then they come down, Taylor Kitsch, other girl, having sex. What? Snake, oh, yeah. on a snake on a boob. Snake on a boob. Kill, kill. Snake People on a think neck. they're just going a mile high club. And then the snakes start coming out from everywhere. One minute. And start... Killing everyone, it's left, brutal, right, and just center, just murder, snakes murder, murder, everywhere, kill. snakes on all people. T quick snakes, big snakes, quick small snakes, snakes big snakes. And then they put up all the, the, the luggage to block them. The whole time, not just going, let's all go up to first class where none of them are. They're just like, no, well, you can't keep, go up there because Nathan Phillips, Nathan Phillips is up there. Nathan Phillips is up let's there. Let's keep the one guy safe, though. While, I'm sorry, the plan has changed once. Anyway, so yeah, then, yeah. then 35 they get seconds. This, the snake expert down uh, down in L.A. figuring out everything with Bobby Cannavale. But then, no, he's feeling it. That happens earlier on. And he's, he's, he's figuring things yeah, out. Got it. And then the second wave of snake attacks happened. Both pilots get things. taken out. Yeah. Pilot's gone. This nice, really old stewardess is gone. Uh, the the black guy's uh, bodyguard. Got okay, seconds. so the black guy's bodyguard gets <laughs> shot, and they're like, "Ah, we we're gonna have to uh, get the, the plane going. We don't have a pilot. The pilot said, like, I play PlayStation, I get the pilot. And that's when they're like, "We gotta suck the snakes out. I'm so tired. These fucking snakes on the plane. They get Six. down there. It's coming down. Oh. We're gonna land at the tower. Like, what are you gonna do? Breaks, Three. breaks, turns the like, like boom, down, shoot, snake, win. Surfing at the See, end. That's, Surfing. that's my favorite. I swear. I know I say it every week, but I look forward to that every week watching Makuga's <laughs> head explode. You get so red faced and you just start sweating and it gets less and less logical as it goes. I love it. I do get a little sweaty. Oh out man, there. it's so good. Holy shamoli. That reminds me of the Eddie Kim thing reminds me of one of the sound clips I pulled, which was um options, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. Options. This is amazing. So this is when he's like his henchman goes, are you sure this is a good idea? And can you, John, are you in there? Can you play options F? Accidents happen. You think I didn't exhaust every other option? He saw me! <laughs> Like yeah, that's what, what we're saying. How many options do you what was go the, yeah, through? Yeah, what was the list of until options? you get to aha, snakes You're on like, plane. Um, we have perfect. lions on a bus. Lions on a bus. We have tigers yeah. in a cab. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we have <laughs> lizards in I mean, he a knows motorcycle. People. He could just kill him. Yeah, he's, <laughs> if he owns everybody, why isn't he a sniper just or yeah, something? Here's the other thing. Yeah, he had a guy in his payroll that was able to say which plane it was. He had guys that were on his payroll there. that could load the snakes yes. on. Why didn't they just go? Yeah, in pretend the, to be a passenger, kill, him, kill him, done. He could have loaded the whole plane with passengers of his own henchmen, and yeah. they all have guns, whatever. And then the also, guy dies. Accidents happen. Yes. <laughs> Hundreds of snakes being released on a plane in recorded history has never would never be deemed an accident. I mean, the the whole pitch around this idea is like Eddie Kim and his buddies, like me and my buddies, were sitting around stone and they were like, "How are we gonna get this guy?" And they're like, "Listen, man, I've been thinking about this for a while. We should put snakes on a plane." And they're like, what? "That's He's amazing! Like, get snakes from all over the world, and they don't have the anti venom." I've got a dude in Palm Springs that has snakes for days. Yeah, exactly. Bro. So if it's in Palm Springs, how did he get the snakes to how Hawaii? How did he, in the time, in the 24 hours that this guy yeah. witnessed his crime... Maybe mm -hmm. he had snakes ready to go, yeah. just in case <laughs> just, someone saw like, him. What, guys, we've had these snakes for years and nothing to do with them. <laughs> we just, snakes aren't indigenous to Hawaii, so you have to get them there. Yeah, so yeah. they had to fly there, then put them on another plane. And then fly and back. And then fly back. <laughs> Oh, God. And at the very end, so they fly back to Hawaii to go surfing. It's like, yeah. don't go back. Oh, that's the, that's <laughs> the worst. There. That's my back. least favorite part of the entire movie is the surfing buddy. The and smallest wave actually, possible. I'm Listen sorry. Listen, you know, live. The, my least favorite part of the entire thing, and I know he's Australian, right? Nathan Phillips? Nathan Phillips, I yeah. hate him in this he's movie. He's actually, he's, he's really. He's actually a good actor. He's a good actor. I've seen him in Wolf yeah. Creek. He's great. Yeah. In this movie, he is 
terrible. I know. This is what we were saying before. Is like I've interviewed him many times over the years, and he's a really fun guy, cheeky bastard. But he works so long in Australia. He has such a great career, yeah. and he's someone who should do more in Hollywood because he's good. He's good looking. Maybe you know, he's, he's the next Hugh the Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Yeah, but this movie, I don't know what went. They give him nothing to do. Can't yeah, he's just him, a real big wuss. Give him nothing he to do. Been Australian, that would have made him more interesting. Yeah, yeah right. So far, first off, yeah, my makes biggest, total sense. What was? And he? there are snakes in Australia. They could have. If they took this in Australia, and they're like, oh, yeah. we got to fly across. Well, they would have been like, let's get the Australian guy because he has the most experience with snakes. Right. Yeah. Let's get him killing some snakes. Right. That's oh. the thing. He he barely has any heroic moments. And like if he was like back in my day in the farm, we used to have like tons yeah. of snakes. Get me a shovel. And yeah. I was right in the back of a bloody fucking wank of a shovel. By the way, I've, f- I've killed a snake with a shovel. You know, Silver? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Um, head. I don't think I'll I have. It. No? I, I worked I construction one summer, and we were clearing out land in Pittsburgh, and uh, I, I drove this truck, so it would, like, chop down trees and then, like, go dump this thing. And my first day of work, my boss was like, make sure you have a shovel. There's a lot of snakes up there. And I was like, there's a what? Are you serious? And I, I killed a few. I killed, like, three or four snakes. Yeah. I hate snakes. Yeah. I hate them. I don't mind snakes. It's motherfucking snakes. <laughs> it's motherfucking snakes. Oh and Ben Bagley's motherfucking you know car. I'm Indiana Jones. I'm like Indiana Jones. I hate snakes. That's the, that's only, the, only, that's the only comparison to me in Indiana <laughs> Jones. I'm not as handsome. I'm not as, uh, you know, witty. And well read. I'm not as well read. <laughs> I'm not as adventurous. But... Right. Professor. But. Professor of Archaeology, Ben Begley. <laughs> professor of Ar- Guys, a uh, little tidbit little here. Tidbit. I've done 19 Hallmark movies, and I'm a professor of archaeology. <laughs> uh, this fall on Hallmark Channel, Ben Begley as a loving architect, <laughs> Jennifer Tilly. I as think they his... already did that with Noah Wiley called The Librarian. Wasn't that well, like a TV he would be movie? a librarian. Yeah, but he studied a lot in the library. <laughs> he's bookish. He's bu- Yes, Here's he's a thing. bookish fucking wanker. Bookish. The, the giant montage of him on his fucking dirt bike in the opening is so boring. Seems, yeah, a little... It's and lulling then, you into a false sense of security. I know, it's like, it's hey, beautiful cool, it's just an extreme sports pilot. movie. What? This is happening. And Red then, Bull, motorcycle, dead, dead body. Yeah. It, yeah, they were just, they were clearly sponsored by Motorsports and, and Red Bull. But what? who was this and guy? And PlayStation. What, yeah, exactly. Two, All praise be to PlayStation. <laughs> well, I don't understand who the who the guy is in the beginning and how Nathan Phillips' character Sean knows him. Like at first, I was like, "Oh shit, is that his dad?" And then they never. Does he know him, or does he just see does he him? Just, and the does guy Nathan, dies. Does Nathan yeah. is he going to do contractor work? Or is he just randomly just, riding he's around? Dirt biker. Randomly riding around. So he's just <laughs> randomly then, riding like, around, and he happens to find this guy. That's about as implausible as. Taylor Kitsch's character in True Detective Season 2 <laughs> happening to ride around the highways and try to commit suicide by riding too fast and then swerving and finding the dead body of yes. Casper. Yes. Yeah. So True Detective basically stole an actor and a plot point from Snakes from on a Plane. Snakes on a Plane. Please tell me the finale about that. has snakes in a casino. Uh, no, but... Damn it. That would have made it so been much better. Exciting. Now, I have to... I mean, those are some plot holes. The other plot hole is that they find a Red Bull can and they have the forensic science quick enough to mm-hmm. find this dirt bike kid within like six hours within six hours not maybe even less yeah uh i mean he's got enough red bull that we're, we're not like the time per se isn't exactly on like a linear path there but the fact that samuel jackson then shows up and then it just it doesn't st- i mean it, it's a great ticking clock because it doesn't stop once you're in the tube oh, yeah. of the airplane yeah. forget about it it's awesome what yeah. was your favorite death what was your favorite oh. death? Like? oh my favorite death is the annoying guy getting squeezed by the anaconda. And then because eaten. You, yeah, and, and then, then the head. The world's yeah. worst CGI like, as it goes ah, over ah. his head. Because that, you know, that guy, it's a, the classic kind of horror movie concept. The mm-hmm. annoying guy that you just cannot With wait the really, to die. I love the overly, uh, the hair plugs that the you can see. The hair plugs, uh, yeah. and he chucks the dog. I mean, he's oh, yeah, that dog he deserves it. to die. I like when they finally shoot the plane holes and the anaconda gets sucked out and you can still see his body inside the snake. Oh, like, did yeah. you notice that? The snake yeah. is huge oh, and you can still, yeah. like, it's real quick see and the body's the still, that's still what in that, there. I paused it and was like, what was it? I didn't even notice it yeah, when I paused it. Look at you, body. observing McGee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My favorite death, I don't know, the most ridiculous death is, can we play the sound clip of Snake on a Dick? <laughs> I love how when he goes to the bathroom, he's like, hey, big boy. Uh, how you do- like, he's like, yeah, how you doing, big snake, guy? And it's know? like, who the fuck talks to their... 
I've never gone in a bathroom and been like, hey, what's up, guy. little man? I mean, like, not little man. I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. what's up, big, what's up, big what's fella? Up medium size. <laughs> what's up, average, gardener snake? I mean, what's uh, up, according to Esquire, average size for a male of my age? <laughs> <laughs> that guy's the Depending worst on how manscaped I am. Oh, he's terrible. Oh, no, that's the thing, yeah. But here's the other thing, too, is there are some, like, brilliant actresses. Juliana Margulies has won an Emmy She's and great. a Golden Globe. Bobby She's Cannavale. Bobby Cannavale is incredible. Great. Oh, man, he's incredible. I can't wait for vinyl. Have you seen the trailers for vinyl? It's a no, new show I... on HBO. He plays like a 70s record exec. He's fantastic. Oh, he's, he's awesome. awesome. He's so in good win, in win, win. He's... Oh, yes! When he's, when he's <laughs> hugging him on the ground, it's yeah, amazing. Yeah. Oh, God. I love that great movie so everything. Much. He's even good in Snakes on a Plane. Yeah, yeah I know. Because yeah. he, he's the, cause here's the thing. Bobby Cannavale can be this just unbelievably good villain like he was in Boardwalk, Boardwalk Empire Ooh, yeah. or he can be like the greatest dude that you ever want to trust like in Win Win or in this movie because as soon yeah. as, as Samuel L. Jackson calls Bobby Cannavale like, it's alright Cannavale's on it he's, he's gonna, gonna win it. whereas yeah. that the snake guy was a bit of a dick yeah I thought, I thought it was Peter Sarsgaard at he's first. just like oh we have <laughs> to oh are you kidding me he's like, the same guy as in The it. Rock he's in The Rock with Nick Cage when they're testing the that's it. oh that's the right and stuff. Yeah. And he the plays cockroaches a, he plays a very similar character and I put the knee on here yeah, yeah so exactly. Like, Ugh, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, I guess I'll help you with the coolest thing that's ever happened to me in God. my entire career. I have to get all the snakes. I gotta be <laughs> such an snakes. asshole about this, oh even though God. it's this amazing opportunity yeah. for me to save the day. And he's like, you can't have all the anti I mean, he knows so much about snakes and everything, but he's like the least likely to want to save anybody, too. Yeah. He's, like, uh, he's so inconvenient. He has more empathy for that snake wrangler guy in Palm Springs. Like, don't kill him than he does yeah. for helping, like, saving people on the friggin' plane. True. And he's just more concerned about the snake snake eggs that were hatching or whatever that he says in the beginning where he's like oh, you you interrupted me with this mother snake and yeah, the first time in captivity like great congratulations there's a plane full of snakes in the air motherfucker this is the first and only time this will ever happen yeah. Yeah, yeah because the TSA will up their security and involve no snakes from here on out yeah oh my god oh. They uh, so okay so you have Julianne Margulies you have Keenan Thompson oh wait what was your yes. favorite oh, oh my favorite death because the snake on a dick is pretty great because we already said, hey there, big boy, or whatever he says to his own right. dick. It becomes even bigger and then, like, with the snake. And then, yeah, the snake, first off, the snake is like getting, that. the added detail of the snake getting its face pissed on yeah. just adds insult <laughs> to injury for that snake. Hey, I would bite, if I was a snake, Dick bite. Dick bite right there. He right deserved there. it. Motherfucking dick bite. You can dick tell he's dick. a stuntman, though, and that's why he's acting so bad. Because he, he throws his head against the glass, and then I love when he slams his head back and just blood sprays everywhere. Yeah. It's so like, what the fuck? Can you play that clip again you know, for us one time? Fucking snake, get off my dick! Fucking snake, get off my dick! Weirdly <laughs> enough... Yeah. Oh God. Here it goes. It's, I, I don't know if you guys know the story. It's, I it's, probably don't. It's it's kind of it's it's a little <laughs> okay. it's a little out. There. Okay. Well, uh, it's uh, my first movie that I ever saw in the theaters was Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, you know that that night I went. I was like, Mom, I want a snake as a pet. And she's like, You can't have a snake as a pet. You can't get it. Is we don't want them in the house. Your dad doesn't like reptiles. I don't like reptiles. It'll make you look weird. We, you can't have a snake. I was like, Fine. I don't. I mean, fine. I won't. So the rest of that summer, all I did was search for snakes in the wood in the woods and behind her house finally found a gardener steak it was sweet and then one day i like lost my gardener steak and then i hear my brother in the bathroom screaming <laughs> and to this day he is not like snakes but yeah. Mm -hmm. um, there was a, there's going to be a third movie in the Escape from New York and Escape from L.A. Oh, franchise. Okay, um, okay, okay. And I heard that one of the big scenes that was the MPAA was having an issue with was that Snake, uh -huh. you know. Kevin uh, Kurt Russell. Kurt, Ke yeah, Kevin, Kevin Kurt Russell. <laughs> Kevin Kurt Russell's character. It's, Kevin Kurt Russell. It's his brother is playing. Oh, right, 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 right. Kevin Russell. Kevin Kurt Russell. Okay, okay. Yeah, and, uh, he's attacking one of the bad guys. And what he does is this bad guy is like kind of a full, like bad a bad dude right. he does some bad things with that dick and so snake is like you know what bam and he grabs it and he rips it off whoa but right before he rips it off I thought that was pretty clever. Yeah, that was. I mean, that's a pretty racy scene. I, I mean, know the MPAA is not. So cool they've had to escape this. from New York, escape from Los Angeles. Where are they escaping from this time? Like Austin, Texas. Or escape something? from. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, escape from um, Alamogordo, New Mexico. Oh, okay. It's a really small town. It's gonna not say, why are people going there? My, par my parents live there. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but um, I've got a step brother. Ah. Two step brothers, actually. Oh, okay. Is one of them Kevin Kurt Russell? No, oh, okay. one of them's Stephen, and the other one is Richard. Ah. And then being Australia, out in the country, 
snakes all the time. Mm. Oh, yeah. So one day, Steve and Richard walking through the paddock, mm. long grass, mm. snakes everywhere. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, you just hear Steven yell. <laughs> Fucking dick, get off my dick! Ah. And Dick then was a nickname for Richard. Oh, Dick was a nickname. Yeah, there you go. Man, oh, man. there we go. I like that. Double entendre, and Alicia boom. Malone. Man, and that. Oh, oh. <laughs> Through the paddock, oh. long grass. Just like, you know Richard, how, who's a dick. You know how they have that phrase in rap, this isn't part of the improv thing, but uh. in rap music where they're like, all your Thanks for breaking up the fourth wall suckers, there, <laughs> All your suckers can eat a, you yeah. know, I, I like to say eat a Richard instead because ah. I feel like the other phrase is gross. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's more polite. I'll say, you know what? You <laughs> can eat a Richard, <laughs> sir. Hashtag eat a Richard. <laughs> now, I, I, it would be remiss if I didn't add this in, and it's very similar to your story, Ben. But in the movie Airborne. Oh, we're back on this. In, I thought in, you were going to talk about the girl in college where you woke up halfway through a drunken stupor and you yelled. She had scales tattooed on her. She did, yeah. She was a snaky kind of guy. Yeah, that was her nickname. Was snake. snake. Yeah. Josh McCougar would never yell that. He'd be like, all right. <laughs> Let's do this. Another Tuesday morning. That'd be, that'd be something I'd yell. I'd be like, what happened? <laughs> have you had your, have you had been checked lately? Where's your medical report? She had that surgery to split her tongue so she could do a snake oh. thing. A snake. That's why, yeah. that's why they call her that. Oh, yeah. Weird. Yeah. Weird. Uh, I would, again, I would be remiss if I didn't mention this because in my favorite movie of all time, Airborne, <laughs> the 1993 rollerblading classic. The, Which we have to do on here because oh, yeah. never seen. My birthday. We're going to do it for my birthday. Okay, perfect. Um, and uh, the, one of the lead characters, the best rollerblader in town and the fastest guy to really go down the devil's backbone is a guy by the name of Snake. Now, what you don't realize that in, in, in the pre- production for Airborne 2, which is a movie that was never made, but it was always talked about. I've been trying to get a Kickstarter going for years. That we were going to bring back Snake, and he was going to be training locals to traverse the devil's backbone in his vein. He was going to open up his own rollerblading school. But what happened was the guys from the rival group got really jealous of Snake and invaded his dojo of rollerblading. Yeah. And they attacked him, and the first move they did was the old rollerblading dick grab. And he screamed <laughs> as he was dying. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that old move. I know, it's crazy. It's a tough move. <laughs> I mean, the only other snake I can think of is Metal Gear Solid. This, I don't remember seeing uh, Solid Snake. <laughs> Solid Snake. <laughs> he was, uh, his name was Solid Snake in the game. Mm. And uh, I remember... I, Boring! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to continue <laughs> with that one. <laughs> Boring! Moving on! Okay. Um, oh, what, is the, what is the cinematic theory, I guess, Malone, this is a question for you, of the old woman dying? Like, don't you think that in reality, Juliana Margulies should have died because she was like retiring and this was going to be her last flight? That's what Julianne I was Margulies. thought was like the flip. Well, no, but that then they say the old woman is too. Yeah, that oh, it was, was her, her flip. Yeah, so she was offered retirement. But and she doesn't she decided, say that until after she's dying. That's right. Then she decided she'd have one last month. The old uh, lady had to have one last tour. Yeah. I think it's just to try and add some emotion to Got pull it. heartstrings because she seems so lovely. Mm -hmm. You want her to retire and have but a nice life. But then the Brazilian woman from uh, Fast and Furious yeah. says. Yeah, you were here for a purpose That's to right. save my baby, so, and who's married to Chris Hemsworth? It's a pretty Hemsworth. good purpose, yeah, Elsa Pataki. She's married to Chris Hemsworth. She's married yeah. to Chris Hemsworth. They're gonna have beautiful babies. They have. I was gonna say. Oh, they do. Two I don't pay attention them, yeah. to anything. <laughs> Way, Way to go, Ben. Babies. But they're Australian, so obviously Alicia well, keeps tabs on them. He everybody. is. She's not. Where is she from? Brazil. She's, right? she's Brazil. No, I think she's no. Israeli. Ooh. Oh, Israeli. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking of. Um, the other one. I'm thinking because it takes place in <laughs> San Paolo in yes. Furious, in Fast and Furious 5. Fast five. Is, wait, is Fast she five. the one that is like in love with The Rock? Uh, no, she's in love Vin with Vin Diesel, Diesel and then just uh, kind of says, it's cool, you can go back with her at the end of 6. It's uh, very strange how yeah, they just kind of kick her out of the franchise. They kick her out of the franchise. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. I, I once, lose once, track of it. All those girls are just really hot and they all kind of meant, meant together for me in those Fast and Furious movies. Like, <laughs> they do cast very similar types. Yes. Yeah. 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 Like sexy foreign. Sexy foreign. Is, yeah. is, is, yeah. is the Fast and Furious. Um, I, I, I didn't even know that the, the snake, the enough is enough motherfucking snakes that there's a censored version. I didn't even know mm -hmm. about that. But can we play that? Because I think... Enough is enough! I have had it with these monkey fighting snakes on this Monday to Friday play! <laughs> Yeah. Did you know about this? No. Yeah, that's one of the most famous TV oh edits ever God. because it makes no sense. Yes. Monkey fighting snakes on this Monday to Friday plane. Because planes go seven days a week. <laughs> yes. Right. It makes no sense. I've right never there. seen monkeys the fight off. snakes. Monkey fight. Uh, actually, well, maybe yeah. 
I don't, there's it's a there's a small village in the Amazon where the <laughs> yeah, monkeys have yeah. been trained solely to fight snakes to ward off evil spirits. They've been trained over the years. Uh, I mean, it's just that's well known knowledge. I figured both of you guys would know that. Right. Did, did, did and you know they have that? to they have to get on a plane, but they're only allowed to travel Monday, five Monday, days Monday away. Friday, so right. then you say, yeah. you know. enough is enough. I have had it with these monkey fighting snakes on this Monday to Friday plane. <laughs> so good. I would love to see the P the original PG-13 version of this because I have a theory that this movie would suck so hard if, without all the violence yes. and swearing. Yeah. And swearing, absolutely. It'd be boring. It'd be yeah. stupid because you really you watch and anytime it's a snake attack, just a bite, you're like, who gives a shit? But when it's like <laughs> the going through the eyeball or crawling out of the guy's mouth oh, yeah, or the cool. heel to the head. Ooh, and yeah. it, I gagged at that part and I don't get grossed out easy, but I was like, oh, fuck, I forgot yeah. about that moment. Or the guy that falls on even the, the, even yeah. the, oh, yeah. the thermometer yeah. thing and he pulls it Poor out. guy, he doesn't even oh. die from a snake bite. He dies from <laughs> other causes. That would be the worst is if you're on the snake plane, you're like, <laughs> how'd he die? Oh, he fell onto like a random oh, piece of thermometer. How'd he die? Too many people oh, were going up cool. the spiral staircase at one yeah. point. And they hit the weight limit. Which is by far like the hand, okay, that, that scene always gets me is like okay they're trying to rush up but they're not supposed to be in first class everybody's going, and then that has to be the world's worst construction constructed stairs and the it just like and yeah. This, yeah the spiral version but it perfectly fits a life raft oh yeah exactly oh, yeah. Yeah. the so measurement of the life raft there. which yeah. brings me back to my point earlier where uh sam jackson thanks sean at the end and goes i couldn't have done it without you and i'm like yeah you kind of you pretty much did everything without yeah. him without him and if anything he was the obstacle that was keeping everybody not in, in great first position class. yeah because yeah. well he was the whole reason that everyone yeah. had snakes yeah. on the plane yes. yeah so, so thanks Sean thanks Sean, thanks, Sean. Sean. Thanks. go ride a motorcycle or a motorbike and drink some Red Bull yeah um, but this he uh, actually couldn't have done it without Keenan. yeah and PlayStation yeah. Uh, oh my god trademark patent pending and can, can, we, can we just play that clip yeah. all praise be to PlayStation G oh <laughs> all, praises all praises to the, all praises to the PlayStation. <laughs> and I mentioned like PlayStation 2 a couple of times. Yeah. I love the foreshadowing at the start of the film where he's playing the game and yeah. you think, oh, it's worthless. It's no good. Just I mean, the product placement in this hobby. movie is pretty spot on. When yeah. that happened in the theaters, though, I, I think it was a mixture of half the audience laughed hysterically and the other half was like, fuck you. Like, <laughs> that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. You went too far. Too far. I cannot stand Keenan. Really? I hate I, I don't hate I'm sure he's a nice person I shouldn't say I hate him but I don't like his acting I don't like him on SNL I never have really he's all, what up with that I feel like he Ooh, that's okay Reba. that's okay <laughs> yeah. I feel like he's always about to break I feel like he's always like on the he's like the Jimmy Fallon yeah, of it yeah. where he, but Jimmy but Fallon was was charming like, yeah and he's always like half like every character has a half smile like <laughs> I'm about to laugh you know and I feel like yeah. that in his acting too I you kind of look like a snake when you make that face it's kind of crazy I think Kel was way more talented than Keenan and Kel and then Kel just yeah he didn't he didn't so pursue you didn't buy him as Troy the, I didn't I, you the know, pilot? like a security guard for that I don't know and that yeah, whole he was, yeah. three G's yeah that three G's there's another four G's is two that's a terrible joke in the beginning too when he's like um he's the Howard Hughes of uh, oh yeah. What did he say? Rap or How he was a rap, and he's like, "What'd you say?" And they're like, "Oh, look at look at all this crap. Who would buy this?" And I'm like, "What? Who? <laughs> how did that get passed on set? Like on set, did no one? Because Keenan, my opinions of him aside, he still has comedic <laughs> timing, and he still sure. knows what jokes are. Uh -huh. And so does the other the other actor is really funny too in this movie. So I'm like, mm -hmm. how did that pass as like the Yep, that's the funniest this moment can be. Run yeah. with it. You know what I mean? When you see a movie and you see the joke and you're like, and then he's, that was the funniest joke you guys came up with on the day? Yeah. I felt that way a lot about Pixels. Listen, I don't know a whole lot about... The, that's a whole other... I'm the, going the, tangential today. Yeah. I don't know Just a whole lot about everything. landing an airplane, but I got to imagine that yeah. there's way more to it <laughs> than what came yeah. out of that. They like bounced it and it was like, turn! We have that the turn the motherfucker left part. <laughs> Yeah. Troy! Troy! Troy? <laughs> and now, how does he know how to use all the controls when yeah. he's only got that? Yeah. Right. He's got four he buttons. Have you ever been inside button. of a cockpit? There's one billion buttons yeah. in, a, in, a, yeah. in a plane cockpit. It's insane. There's more buttons than on like a mixer board at like a, a I mean, rock studio. There's like 30 mixer boards in a rock. But all you have to do is pull up. Yeah. Pull pull up. Up. Brakes. And it. apparently just brakes with, like on a car. Just that is the brakes. Slams on him with yeah. his feet. Yeah. I love every movie involving a plane where they're like, pull up, and they all obligatorily do the like, 
I want to be in a plane to see if that's hard. If that is it's that like hard. It's like they're pulling it up with their own strength. Yeah. yeah. Like ah, controlling yeah. the plane. Like a mom ah. saving their baby from a car. You know, it's like. Ah. Baby Jessica and Noel. Yeah, like yeah. with the plane. There you go. Uh, can you play that clip one more time there, Jonathan? <laughs> I've never heard Samuel Jackson's voice crack. Yeah. <laughs> it gives some vulnerability to L- him. Little I bit like of, that a lot. A little bit of pupubescent, prepubescent uh, I, I Samuel like Jackson. I like pupubescent, though. Super pubescent. <laughs> um, the, I, I was, uh, b- back when I was a kid, I, um, uh-huh. I was a, soap, a soapbox derby rider. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, yeah. I was Pennsylvania champion in the duel, like two of my buddies. But mm-hmm. I was the brake man, and uh, the guy in the front was obviously the driver. And... Um, you know, you could go straight downhill, but there was also road courses. And yeah, my buddy Troy uh, was the driver. I mean, he was so good. So and good. Uh, our second year, we had we added weight to the car because we wanted to go faster, and it was just a little too hard to handle. But we're coming down, and we're neck and neck with the two kids from Bethel Park, and I screamed right into Troy's ear. <laughs> Yeah, it's weird. And my voice even cracked too. It's weird. You had a friend named Troy. I had one of my close friends growing up was named Troy, and mm-hmm. I lived in Akron, Ohio. We went sledding every year. Sure. And there's this one hill we'd go down. And we'd take a toboggan down, oh, which good. is a big ass sled, right? Great sled. You know, you get like four people on it. I was in the back. Troy was in the front steering, and we're going down. And it, with the I, we hit this weird bump, and we start heading towards a tree. And I'm just freaking out because I know we hit that tree, we're dead. All four of us, dead sandwich. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I scream at Troy. Side of dead fries. Left! Turn this big motherfucker left, Troy! And, Troy! and instead, we all just Troy! jumped off the sled yeah. and then it just kind of went eek. And it was fine. It was fine. That's weird because I had a, a boyfriend called Troy. Oh. And he and I used to go horse riding all the time. Oh, nice. And then one night, we thought we would sneak into the paddock. Uh, again <laughs> with this paddock. <laughs> Thinking about paddocks and snakes. Um, and we decided that we would steal the stallion and go for a mm-hmm. bareback ride. So mm. he was at the front, I was at the back. Suddenly, the stallion got terrified and started running, galloping down the hill as fast as we could. We we're going to fall off. But a way to stop a horse is you have to turn it really fast because then it you know, can't go anywhere. It's going to stop. So I was on the back and all I could scream was... <laughs> I was, and I also sound wow. like Samuel Jackson. <laughs> really weird. Really good. Yeah, Something about her stopped. stories where I actually believe, believe them, yeah, where no. ours I just feel like they're bullshit, <laughs> but hers I'm like... I mean, she was yeah. She was on a horse with yeah, Troy. Horse, yeah, breaking in a paddock. I don't know if you know this, but my first uh, it's just good. Australians are cooler. They're the best. Yeah. They're way Damn cooler. It. Uh, I my first job Australia. in Hollywood, I was working right. on the movie Troy with Brad Pitt. Yeah, and everything with that day on Troy, just it was just going wrong. Every nothing you was were going. In the um, the uh, like the kind of orgy scene that they yeah, cut exactly. in the movie. Yeah, yeah. It was the Caligula orgy scene. It was in Troy. They cut they it for cut ratings. It. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. You and, look great in it. Uh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and so everything just, nothing was going right that day. Nothing was going right. So I just went up to the director. His name was Eric Von Tresseldorf. Pretty sure it was Wolfgang Peterson. <laughs> Wolfgang Peterson. <laughs> <laughs> I was close. <laughs> and I screamed in his ear. I pulled the earphones off and screamed right in his ear. <laughs> Because left would have saved. Because everything day. was going right that day. We needed to go left. I mean, nothing was going right that day. Nothing we was going right. right. So you got to keep going left. <laughs> exactly. That was such a. Uh, <laughs> I'm reaching. I got I'm trying it. To get, I got I'm it. trying to get that one. I can't uh, quite I reach it. It's just about the name Troy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <It's supposed> <laughs> <to> <laughs> well, uh, I believe we have oh, a couple shit. more clips because then we're going to end with the awesome one and we're just going to oh, take it out as many times as we can say. So good. Yes. I feel like we should pitch what we would have said that said. That said, instead of motherfucking snakes and motherfucking plane, instead of monkey fighting snakes on a Monday, Monday to Friday, Friday. Blend, like a or sequels too is a good one too. Oh yeah, let's do the thing. Let's do the Monday to Friday thing real quick. Okay, ready? Yeah, go ahead. He's gone. Oh, you're just gonna put yeah. me on the spot. Yeah, yeah. Um, that, that, that's it. I've had it with these d- over salted fries on this dirty, greasy plane. I think it has to be an M and F. Sorry, I, I fucked up. You put me on the spot. Yeah. I froze. You go then. Uh, I've okay. had it with these movie-friendly snakes on this motion forward plane. Whoa! Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yes! I don't know. It made no sense. Uh, I've had it. It was better than mine. <laughs> these Maloney Frenchy snakes on this masturbating freaky plane. <laughs> I've had it with these mustard mayonnaise snakes on this 
Multigrain muffin plain. <laughs> yeah. Multigrain muffin plain. We'll take it. Then. No. Still didn't get the F's in there, but we'll treat Wait, it. what did I do? Uh, oh, god damn it. <laughs> you went two M's instead of an M and an F. Fuck me. I got to win. Hold on. Uh, I got to figure this out. Malone, go for one. It would have been mustard. It with Fuck. these. I got to think of it. Mayonnaise fries Damn it. on these this Malaysian flying plane. <laughs> oh, oh, take it to Malaysian man. flying. Oh god. I've had it with these murdering fartin' snakes <laughs> on this May Maitland Ma Madison fart fragon farkle. I think you had it. Plane. I've had it with these mopey floppy snakes <laughs> on this. Murderous Friday plane. Yeah, you got there Friday we, back in there. Oh, fuck. All right. Okay, I'm trying. <laughs> I've had it with these Tony Danza snakes every on this Angela Bowers plane. Okay. Uh, every time I say it, let's go to. Uh, tell me I what, failed. what did you say? Uh, the snakes uh, on crack? Snakes yeah, on crack. Snakes on crack. That's good news. Snakes on crack. Yes. <laughs> any any snakes on something they could get as many yeah. times in the Oof. film is perfect. Snakes on meth, snakes on crack, snakes on dick, snakes on nipple. Snakes on boob, yeah. Snakes in a in a barf bag. That's snakes, one of my that's one of my favorites. Yeah. Snakes in a mouth. How did it snakes get in there? They come down snakes from in the, the oxygen mask. Oxygen yeah. thing as well. Man, they are some crafty, quick snakes. As soon as they're out, they get in places that we didn't. But yet, know they just have no idea how to get to first class. No, no idea. They they're like, go up the no, we can snakes, get everywhere. But snakes can't climb stairs. Do you guys know that? They That's like a. Wait, can they carefully come? No, yeah, it's like a reptilian thing. They can't. I don't know. Is that true, Jonathan? You look that up. Jonathan, know. can you Google can snakes climb stairs? I think it's they probably can. I would imagine they the, can. The snake that I killed, it wrapped itself around the tire of my car. Oh, so when what? I got out of the car, it lunged at me. What? And oh. I ran, and then I got a big shovel. What kind of snake it. was it? A brown a, a... snake, which is really poisonous. Get out of here. Them. Yeah. Shit. But that's what it would do. These snakes would go up into your tire, like above your tire, and hide. Above your wheel, because they were like assassin snakes, like they, <laughs> they Australian snakes, spiders that are as big as dinner plates, Australian and snakes. fucking sh snakes in fucking wheel wells on fucking cars. Yeah, Motherf I'm tired of these motherfucking snakes in my motherfucking wheel well. Yeah, I'm tired Jeez. of these motherfucking Australian snakes just <laughs> yes. killing everything. Christ, oh, but man. come to Australia, it's really nice. <laughs> Did you just see my face like it's lovely there? <laughs> Come on, Australia. It's really nice. It's Australia. We'll when there's snakes in your fucking tire well. Yeah, a lot of and long what we would do snakes. is we'd just sing and clap as we go go through the glass and the grass because then they would get scared and run uh, away. Oh, okay, it. okay. Yeah, is that, is that why you're always singing and dancing? Because you're all yeah. snakes near you? Snakes okay. go away. Got it, got it. A snake born with legs. Away. Can snakes climb stairs? Uh, I was watching the behind the scenes on this. They can climb stairs. Yeah, they mm. the agile they, creatures. Uh, they can climb stairs, but not. Ladders. Not ladders, oh. but they can slither up walls. What? And they have no difficulty getting up or down a flight of stairs. Plot hole. Shit. Yeah, I don't. That's the one thing I never understood is like how and what is he doing the entire time when all this shit's going down? Is he just looking like guys? Are we okay? <laughs> yeah. Guys, it's been like twenty minutes. I hear a lot of screaming. I ordered the kosher meal and it Guys. hasn't showed up. Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany. She's the most overtly flirtatious. Oh my uh, yeah. god. She she's does like her thing, and then when she's doing the. For what reason is does his ripped jeans really get yeah, like, her going? He's such a I dork. I thought it was like because she thinks he's a bad guy, right? Oh, the I thought it was because was escorting him. I think yeah, I, th I thought she was like, oh, tell me what you did. Or like he's really rich, and that's why he bought out all of first class or something. I but does she, she know? No, I, I thought she, she was going to FBI. Okay. I thought she she's was going to be a bad. Bad girl, like in with Eddie Kim, and that's why she was flirting with him. And then I was like, oh no, she's just a really terribly written female character by a male writer. Is <laughs> yeah. what it is. She's just a misogynistic uh, female, like yeah, yeah, yes. just like a total slutty flight attendant. Slutty flight attendant. Yeah. Let's done add that in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what else we got in there, Jonathan? Did I just hear there's no first class? <laughs> I'm afraid only coach is available. Coach? Is it safe there? Little does she know, it is not safe yeah. in there. Yeah. Foreshadowing. Foreshadowing. That's what I like. I like later on when there's really the, the well baby done. and the rattle. Oh, there's yeah. There's several moments where you think, ooh, the snakes are going to come. Not yet. I like how they would go to the snake's point of view and it was like predator. Or it was like it was predator like or, and... yeah. That Renee watched a little bit of this with me last night and the snake POV drove her insane. <laughs> Every time it happened, she's like, why the fuck do I care about what the snake? I don't like this. This is dumb. Yeah. And it was a, it was a kind of a cool cinematic trick, though. I'll give it to 
to you on that one. I mean, hard to say that. I was like, where, was, where are they? Oh, yeah. The have you ever worn those beer goggles? Not like legit blacked out drunk beer goggles, like the ones that you like go. So the, you put those on and you can get like obviously different level of drunk, you know, like you're like a couple beers. Wait, wait, wait. They're shots. goggles that actually make you feel like you're. Yeah, you put Why them on. Why would you want those? And like, it's your crazy. Because they show you at like when you go, to, like, this is what drunk driving is like. And then you put oh, them on okay. and you have to test the car. So it's like, it's pretty funny that they have these things where like you're supposed to walk a line. It's like at a police conference. I've done like a bunch of corporate hosting where there'll be like these people at like health conventions. Yeah, corporate hosting. And, um,. <laughs> You put them on, like, you have to walk the straight line. And it's Corporate impossible. I was like, DUI checks yeah, around town. Exactly. <laughs> I know yeah, a lot of hosting and yeah. DUI checks. Guys, I haven't. No. Um, <laughs> so, but, yeah, but that's what it's like. The, the beer goggles look like snake vision. <gasps> snake vision. Snakes are drunk. Here's, Snakes are drunk. Did anybody, on did anybody else think that, like, it, it starts off like a slow build. There's, like, one or they kill the two in the bathroom and then the snake on a dick, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then out of nowhere, it just escalates so well, quickly. Well, because the, the oxygen masks drop yeah. because the snakes hit the thing. I know, but don't anything. it opens up and, and then it Didn't anybody out. want maybe a couple more little kills yeah. before, like, the shit just hits the fan? I agree, I agree. Yeah. I think it goes too quickly. It's just because it, it, at first mayhem. you're like, ooh, yeah. ooh, and you kill the, the captain. Okay, I thought they were going to pick off a few more people. And then mayhem, because that felt like the third act. And then so when they, now I'm just getting, oh, this is not structurally okay. But then, because then when they repeat the same beat again mm -hmm. uh, in first class, it's not as cool as the coach attack because we didn't have a little bit more of a buildup. You know? Yeah, I would have liked a few more characters to yeah. kill off people that you get attached to. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, did yeah. feel bad for the couple with the guy who was scared of so flying. I know, man. They Although got... he was weirdly calm when the shit went down. I know. He was like, okay, uh, I guess that's what I meant to happen. Those and then are they the most sympathetic characters I think yeah. in the entire movie. I thought, oh, they were definitely surviving and then they got the w they got the worst. They, they got, got like 60 snakes. Yeah, poor, they're on their honeymoon. Yeah. yeah. Honeymoon. That's so he shitty. He went to Hawaii because she wanted to go. And you know, he hates flying. It's not sweet. to pick it apart even more, but if you're going to kill off the two most sympathetic in the rules of horror films and things like that, if you're going to kill off the two most sympathetic characters, do it so that he's saving her and yeah. then he gets killed and right. then she gets killed. Don't do it where they're just laying there, where they get hit by a, a, tr a tray cart and then they're like, oh shit. Because uh, uh, yeah. you've grown, those are the only two characters you really give a shit about. The rest of them are all egomaniacs yeah. or douchebag stereotypes. Or Juliana Margulies. Juliana Margulies, that's the yeah. only character you really care but about. And they took off the lays. So yeah. that's why the first time I saw it, I thought they're going to be okay because yeah. they figured it out. They took that off. But they had but... some left on them. Some so as much as I love this effect. movie, there are a couple things I'm like, ah. I mean, that's obviously, it. yeah. You know. I mean, you just change, just make him a hero. Make him <laughs> save his wife. Then she gets killed later. Yeah. Yeah, because he, that would have been great actually if he stepped up. Because he's such a wuss the whole he's time. Scared, and then she all of a killed. sudden, he, yeah, yeah he and takes And then she goes to safety, and maybe. then she gets killed trying to save the baby. That or something, been maybe yeah. Like the something more so that it's. Because right now it's just mayhem. It's just like the only person that saves anybody is really the. Well, is Sam Jackson, Julian Margulies, and um, the old the lady. Uh, fuck, what's her I name? Mean, the movie's Lynn, called Lynn K or something. She's in yeah. every horror film ever, and she's awesome. Um, yes. I mean, she's the movie's called Snakes on the Plane, Ben. It's not called. I know, I know. Uh, let's play our last clip, which I believe is the uh, R-rated version. Wait, that's all we had? Yeah. We didn't have anything else? Yeah, you're right. We did everything. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Can we play K real quick? Oh, is that the one we already played? Yeah, that's Snake right. Scenario. Oh, this yeah. is why Bobby, yes. Bobby Cannavale is so good, because him and Sam Jackson can play this scene completely straight. Yeah. You know all those goddamn security scenarios we ran? I want to smack in the middle of one we didn't think of. What are you talking about? Eddie Kim somehow managed to fill the plane with poisonous snakes. <laughs> like, they can do that so And you believe so it, and straight. he's like, okay, all right. And his reaction is so good. It is, it's really natural and spot yeah. on. Mm. Uh, can we play uh, the music video? Wait, no, we're going to play the last, uh, oh, yeah. Samuel L. Jackson, and then the music. Enough is enough! I have had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane! The best. And that the line best. comes, like, it feels weird. It does it feel weird. It comes out of, out of nowhere. Like, enough is enough comes yeah. out of nowhere. Yeah. He hasn't built up to that. He's standing right. there and it's all very of a sudden, enough is enough. But it yeah. was because it was it's just fans. Yeah, it's just, and it's also because there's snakes in the cockpit. And that's the biggest ridiculous thing that we didn't even talk about real quick, is that the only way to get the snakes out of the cockpit is to have everyone strap in, <laughs> shoot a giant fucking hole in the plane, yeah. and suck then suck all the snakes Which, out. Yeah, you can't breathe, can you? And Not really. <laughs> 
really? And where do all the because the oxygen masks don't work anymore? Yeah. And where do all the snakes go? There should be a sequel where all hundred snakes just landed on like a suburban town, and they're like, "Fuck, like snakes, snakes in the snakes. suburbs! Snakes in the suburbs!" Or well, someone sailing, and it's like, because <laughs> there's no way all oh, yeah, those snakes over the ocean. There's no snakes way all those snakes sea. died on impact. They're somewhere now. Yeah. Well, they can't survive in water. A lot of those snakes can't. They're waiting. They landed on a boat, and now it's snakes on a boat. <laughs> yeah, snakes, snakes, snakes on, on a, a boat. cruise ship. Snakes. Speed oh. to cruise control meets snakes on a plane. Snakes on a cruise. Snakes, snakes on, a on a cruise. That's oh good my God. because cruise ships are my worst nightmare. As yeah. long as Jason Patrick is in it, snakes oh, on man. a cruise. That, that's, you're, that's so good. It's so good. Why did, a Why did they make never that? Come yeah, out I don't know. It's so, it would have been incredible. It didn't do very well at the box office, even mm. despite it's so all crazy. the lead up to it. Yeah. And everyone was so excited about yeah. it. It didn't make it much money. Bombed. And the the reviews were just like, eh. Yeah. yeah. So it wasn't this like was bad Sharknado before go. Sharknado existed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, Sharknado's getting all this. I've never seen Shark, Sharknado, but it's getting all this stuff, and I feel like this was the original. This kind is of, the original mm -hmm. Sharknado. And better, yeah, sure. far okay. superior. Yeah. All right, let's play that one more time, and then the song, and then we will go out on that. Uh, enough is enough. I have had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. And kudos to Sam Jackson because they were going to change the title, and Sam said nope. I signed on because it's called Snakes on a Plane, and that's what it'll be called. Fucking Motherfuckers! A I feel like he's the right. coolest guy in Hollywood. He I feel is. like he's yeah. one of the top ten coolest people out yeah. there. Um, you just cool. wish he was like your you can uncle play you or, can play or something. Ahead. You know, you wish he was. You wish you were related to Sam Jackson, so you could go to family reunions and just hear his like stories. Sam motherfucking Jackson. Well, thank you guys for tuning in to Guilty Movie Pleasures. A special thanks to Ms. Alicia Malone, the queen thanks of snakes on a plane. Thank you for your so fourth appearance fun. here on Guilty Movie Pleasures. Next ben. time, petitioning for Grease Two. Oh, uh, Grease Two. Never seen it. Oh, oh that's great. Okay. Never seen it. Alicia comes on next time with Grease Two. Next week, we're doing Hard Rain with <laughs> Christian Slater and Morgan Freeman with my sure. two buddies, Casey Slaughter and Mark Enrietto, they wanted to talk that movie, so we're bringing them on. I don't remember it at all. I saw yeah. it once, and I remember being like, they're in a, I've never seen it, they're so. in a school on a jet ski at one point awesome. in the water. Uh, I'm Josh McCuga at Josh McCuga. You guys can see my show, Between the Sheets. We release an episode every Monday, youtube.com slash Between the Sheets TV. At Ben Begley Comedy, where you can also find links to now Funhouse Massacre, the movie that my wife and I wrote. We have a Twitter page and a Facebook page. Nice. So facebook.com, the Funhouse Massacre, and at Twitter is at Funhouse Mass. Because okay. you can't, there's a letter limit, which is stupid. It just sounds like church being it fun. It does, it sounds just like, <laughs> we're going to have church. a carnival church. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys as always for watching. Until the next time, what is your guilty movie pleasure? Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Spitek, and the entire Popcorn Talk Network. We would like to thank you for tuning in. For questions or comments, be sure to visit popcorntalk.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of the Popcorn Talk Network. Views expressed here are those of the host, not necessarily, but views of the Popcorn Talk Network.